Braden. I'm with US Cellular Northside Computers. I'm here today to talk to you about our expanded JD Power award-winning network. Our services are now available in northern Wisconsin in areas such as Spencer, Stratford, and Colby. To experience our new 5G network, stop down to the store and take a look at our expanding lineup of 5G devices located in downtown Marshfield.
friends, if you're looking for the best chair in the house, come down to r, &R Flooring and Furniture in Spencer. We carry Franklin furniture, Lang furniture, Serta recliners, Simmons recliners, electric chairs, chairs that have phone chargers in. That is the best chair in the house. Come down and see us. We also have these sports tables and anything you want. Brewers, Bucks, uh, Badgers, come on in. Thank you. I'm Corey Hoffman with Marshfield Insurance. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's very timely right now, and that is the damage that water can do if it gets into your home or any other building. Uh, surface water coming into a building is generally not covered by any sort of property, standard property insurance policy. You can buy flood insurance to protect your, your property, um, but uh, the time to do that is now. Uh, because there is a, usually a 30-day waiting period before coverage applies. Uh, so uh, when you see the water rising up in your backyard, it's too late. You need to call um, your, your insurance agent at Marshfield Insurance here and have a discussion about flood insurance if you're concerned about that. Uh, another situation that we see very commonly is um, a backup of a sewer or drain. and. Uh, we most commonly think of this happening in a sump pump situation where the sump pump fails either due to mechanical failure or loss of power. Your sump pump well fills up then and you get water in, in your basement and it could damage flooring or wall coverings or any property that you have sitting down there. Most insurance companies offer an endorsement uh, to buy coverage for damage caused by sewer drain backup and they're very reasonably priced. So if you're concerned about uh, the damage that water could do to your home this spring, please call your agent at Marshfield Insurance uh, and have a conversation about flood or water and sewer backup. We'd be happy to help you. Beautify your garden and landscape in 2020 with Turnpike Greenhouse. Explore our spacious garden center with over 2,500 hanging baskets. Along with beautiful flowering plants, Turnpike offers a wide selection of produce, herbs, vine crops, succulents, and more. Turnpike's garden center and greenhouses have everything needed to beautify any home. Turnpike is here to serve you. Visit us in Granton or online at turnpikegreenhouse.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook for pictures and specials. We are Turnpike, and we are here to serve you. Forward Bank, originally incorporated in Marshfield, has been around for 100 years and in those 100 years has grown tremendously and continues to do so. With locations in Colby, Greenwood, Marshfield, Medford, Stanley, Thorpe, and Withy, they are always looking to be part of your family, business, farm, or nonprofit. For personal loans, business loans, life insurance, or homeowners insurance, stop by one of their seven convenient locations and see how they can help you move forward.
go, Pitco. Let's get it back here, girl.
to achieving your hopes and dreams is less than clear, Meyer Meyer & Associates provides the direction and guidance that helps put things into focus. We provide financial advice and customized solutions that help take the uncertainty out of your dreams for today and the future. We can work together to make an honest assessment, understand your options, commit to a plan, live life brilliantly. Our team is here to help. Hi, I am Todd Schultz from Fairway Mortgage in Marshfield. Growing up and now living in Marshfield, I have always supported the local sports teams. Fairway Mortgage is doing the same and more. Fairway Mortgage is also supporting the veterans of this country. We formed an affiliate company called the American Warrior Initiative, or AWI. AWI has given away houses, seed money, vehicles, and service dogs to deserving veterans. Fairway has found that service dogs trained specifically for a veteran's needs is the best gift that any veteran can receive. Fairway is a home loan specialist. Call us today to get your home loan.
that out? Yeah. Okay, great. I don't have the uh, soundboard set up though. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 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 I'm assuming this is still... JV. Is one like freshman or...? I have no idea.
from Northside Computers. As many of you know, we have a refurbished computer program to, uh, to get computers in the hands of students that are, that are learning from home this fall. Um, it's been a very successful event. We've gotten over or close to 30 computers out to students and we have also have a large waiting list. So we're hoping that we can get uh, more donations brought in to help these computers get in the hands of somebody who can use them. So we're looking for computers that um, can run Windows 10 or maybe uh, could use a little bit of an upgrade to run Windows 10. We can definitely repair them if it has something wrong with them. And we don't want old, um, ancient things that just need to be recycled. So, so the best thing to do is just get <laughs>
Hi, I'm Corey Hoffman with Marshfield Insurance. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's very timely right now, and that is the damage that water can do if it gets into your home or any other building. Uh, surface water coming into a building is generally not covered by any sort of property, standard property insurance policy. You can buy flood insurance to protect your, your property, um, but uh, the time to do that is now. Uh, because there is a, usually a 30-day waiting period before coverage applies. Uh, so uh, when you see the water rising up in your backyard, it's too late. You need to call um, your, your insurance agent at Marshfield Insurance here and have a discussion about flood insurance if you're concerned about that. Uh, another situation that we see very commonly is um, a backup of a sewer or drain. and. Uh, we most commonly think of this happening in a sump pump situation where the sump pump fails either due to mechanical failure or loss of power. Your sump pump well fills up then and you get water in, in your basement and it could damage flooring or wall coverings or any property that you have sitting down there. Most insurance companies offer an endorsement uh, to buy coverage for damage caused by sewer drain backup and they're very reasonably priced. So if you're concerned about uh, the damage that water could do to your home this spring, please call your agent at Marshfield Insurance uh, and have a conversation about flood or water and sewer backup. We'd be happy to help you. Forward Bank, originally incorporated in Marshfield, has been around for 100 years and in those 100 years has grown tremendously and continues to do so. With locations in Colby, Greenwood, Marshfield, Medford, Stanley, Thorpe, and Withy, they are always looking to be part of your family, business, farm, or nonprofit. For personal loans, business loans, life insurance, or homeowner's insurance, stop by one of their seven convenient locations and see how they can help you move forward. Hi, I am Todd Schultz from Fairway Mortgage in Marshfield. Growing up and now living in Marshfield, I have always supported the local sports teams. Fairway Mortgage is doing the same and more. Fairway Mortgage is also supporting the veterans of this country. We formed an affiliate company called the American Warrior Initiative, or AWI. AWI has given away houses, seed money, vehicles, and service dogs to deserving veterans. Fairway has found that service dogs trained specifically for a veteran's needs is the best gift that any veteran can receive. Fairway is a home loan specialist. Call us today to get your home loan. I'm Justin from U.S. Heller, Northside Computers. Computers are more important than ever because of work from home setups. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know we do offer a variety of services for computers, such as Windows cleanups, virus removals, data transfers, as well as free diagnostics. 
So if you're looking at having a computer upgraded or serviced, you can keep us in mind at U.S. Cellular and Northside Computers at 907 South Central Avenue here in Marshfield. If your path to achieving your hopes and dreams is less than clear, Meyer Meyer & Associates provides the direction and guidance that helps put things into focus. We provide financial advice and customized solutions that help take the uncertainty out of your dreams for today and the future. We can work together to make an honest assessment, understand your options, commit to a plan, live life brilliantly. Our team is here to help. Parents of Lillian Andres. Parents of Cassidy Parker. Parents of Mackenzie and Delaney Glenowski. Parents of Caitlin Frost. Parents of Emma Tolson. Parents of Kennedy Collins. Parents of Brittany Lord. Parents of Haley Delaney. Parents of Layla Shire. Parents of Jaden Meyer. Parents of Jaden Dodd. Parents of Alexis Smazo. Parents of Savannah Frederick. Parents of Melissa Giles. Parents of Julia Redman. Parents of Angel Millard. Parents of Emily Carlson. Parents of Sarah Lacassier. Parents of Katie Zwisland. Parents of Vanessa and Desiree Pilat. Parents of Rebecca Donalds. Parents of Madeline Carpenter. Parents of Madison Schooley. And parents of Ruth Durant. On behalf of the student athletes, the coaches, and the Pittsfield School District, we'd like to thank parents for everything that you do. Let's have a round of applause for our parents.
Whenever you're ready then. Yeah. That's kind of fun to say. Okay. How long do they warm up for? I think. 18 minutes? Oh my gosh, yeah, see, I probably won't go on until we're a little closer. Yeah. Is there, are we doing any kind of like um, ads or anything? There's no. Because I know reading. we did cross country, we had the computer and we were doing ads. Yeah, I don't think there's any ad reads okay. now. Just for the 
Good evening and welcome to Cincinnati CWC South Volleyball Match between the Rochelle Hornets and the Pittsfield Panthers. <laughs> to honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask those who are able to stand and remove your hats and place your hand over your heart for playing with the national anthem. Pittsville High School, Rochelle High School, and the WIAA require good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at education-based interscholastic events. We request your cooperation in supporting the participants and officials. Please enjoy the game in a positive manner. Here's the starting lineup for Rochelle. Number 14, Sarah Trzynski. Number 19, Lily Lepeski. Number 20, Katie Skiba. Number 21, Katie Spurklaw. Number 23, Sophie Lebeski. Number 25, Megan Pierce. And we'll be on number 5, Olivia Davis. The Hornets are out by coaches Megan Bullitt and Tom Trzynski. Now for the study line of the York Pittsburgh Panthers. Number 10, Katie Wilson. Number 11, Vanessa Pilots. Number 12, Abby Downs. Number 14, Madeline Carpenter. Number 17, Savannah Frederick. Number 18, Desiree Pilots. And we're going to number 2, Melissa Giles. The Panthers are led by head coach Buck Keller and assistant coaches Kirsten Kissner, Becky Wiseman, and John C. Jones. Tonight's officials are Paul Dale and Mike Geigel. Good luck, team. Welcome, everyone, to Pittsville High School. We are here for a conference matchup uh, against the Pittsville Panthers and the Rochelle Hornets. We've done the lineups. We've said the national anthem. We're about ready to tee off here. I'm Carrie Gillespie. I'll be with you tonight. Tonight was also parents' night here in Pittsville, so we got to see all the Pittsville volleyball players uh, and their parents come out and support them. That's always good to see. Nice to see all those parents coming out. And we're off. A lift there called on Pittsville. And the big center with the spike down the middle.
Good couple of volleys there back and forth. Rochelle comes out with the point on that one. A beautiful spike down the line for Pittsville. Number 14, Madeline Carpenter, the outside hitter. Very well done. Pittsville gets the ball back. And an ace on the serve for Pittsville. The senior, Desiree Pilot, serving now. Lily Lorbecki for Rasho with the point on that one. <laughs> Pittsville with the save. Good aggressive play there. <laughs> Becca Downs with the spike and the points. That was a good volley by both sides, both these teams. Looking ready to go. Sophie Larbecki with the ace on that point. Madeline Carpenter with the ace on that point. A good game thus far. Both these teams look, look great. It, it has not been one-sided at all. They're both coming back back and forth towards one another and they've both had moments of being really looking really great and sharp. I think we're in for a good one.
A lift called on Rauschelt. And up off the block, ball in the air. Bodies hitting the floor. Lots of aggressive plays here. Good couple of volleys there. A lift called on the setter there from Rashad. Anybody who doesn't know, the lift just means that uh, they push the ball too much. The ref will hold up his hands with the number two. That means there were two touches, two points of touch there. Beautiful. Beautiful back row spike back there from Rajholt. Right. Followed up by a beautiful ace, Megan Pierce, the six foot senior there. Sophomore Haley Zwizlin, the big center there with the spike down the middle. Beautiful little fingertip roll there, Rascheld. Pittsville pulling, pulling away a little bit. I'm not sure if we've had more than a two-point difference in this entire game. It's really been back and forth. One of them scores, then the other one's back. It's been a neck-and-neck -neck battle thus far, so we'll see if Pittsville pulls away some here or how this shapes up. This ref likes that uh, lift call, doesn't he? A lift called on Pittsville. An ace there from the Panthers going into the break here, fired up. Good for them.
And we're back here. Let's get back to some volleyball. Just a hair long on the serve, literally just missed it. Senior Sophie Lorbecki with the ace on that one. <laughs> Kaylee Skiba with Rochelle with the outside spike. <laughs> Sophie Lorbecki with another ace, but there, Pittsville's not able to break this serve right now. Lorbecki has had a couple of serves here, a couple of aces, and they're just having a hard time breaking it down right now. Big block up the middle. Sometimes those blocks are good, but they really throw off that back row defense, makes it hard to react, hard to adjust, hard to know where the ball's going. So it's, it's tricky sometimes. Just missing the line there on that one, Pittsville. There's that lift call again on Pittsville. It's tough. That's been a tough call for everyone here tonight. Ooh, a little miscommunication there on Rochelle. Costly mistake there. We may have lost the ball. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it went all the way in the hallway. <laughs> Senior, Pittsville senior Becca Downs with the kill. Pittsville getting back in it with the ace. Like I said, this game has been back, back and forth pretty, uh, pretty, pretty solidly. No team has pulled away or gotten on too long of a run here. Ooh, that big outside hitter from Rochelle, Kaylee Skiba. She's got a lot of power behind her, but when she's hit with that block, it really comes back right at her, and that's what happened that time. A lot of power there, though. Megan Pierce, the metal hitter with the big spike down the middle. We're all tied up, 20 to 20, tight one here thus far.
And Megan Pierce with the block. Wow, that was beautiful. Beautiful block there. And Pittsville there with the spike down the middle, doing the best with a wonky little play there. Almost had something going there for Pittsville, but the spike from the outside hitter there is good for a point for Rasholt. Beautiful jump serve by Kaylee Skiba there. Too tight on the net. It's too much for senior Pilot to get to. Sometimes when that ball is too tight on that net, you just can't do anything with it. It's hard to, hard to adjust, hard to see what's going on. I'm gonna take another break here. Rushout leads 23 to 21. And we're back. Just gets the top of the net there for Pittsville. That was close. Ooh. Beautiful by the setter there, right on the line. It's a good move to pull out of your pocket once in a while. Everyone expects that setter to get that second hit to set someone up. But that's the perfect time every once in a while for that setter to just send one over to the deep corner and get an easy point off of it. Pittsville back in the game with that ace there. Vanessa Pilot, a freshman. Deep serve. Good eye for Pittsville. Sometimes it's tempting. You want to you wanna make the play. You don't want to let it go, but that was a good watch there by the back row of Pittsville. So much back and forth here, it's intense. We're only in the first game.
little confusion there on that last one. I I really don't know what they there was a lineup check or I'm not I'm not sure, but uh, that was confusing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's kind of hard to hear from here. Uh, everyone's got their masks on, of course, and sometimes it's it's hard to hear what everyone's saying. So, uh, but Rochelle did in fact win that match. So we're on to the next. Hi, I'm Corey Hoffman with Marshfield Insurance. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's very timely right now, and that is the damage that water can do if it gets into your home or any other building. Uh, surface water coming into a building is generally not covered by any sort of property, standard property insurance policy. You can buy flood insurance to protect your, your property, um, but uh, the time to do that is now. Uh, because there is a, usually a 30-day waiting period before coverage applies. Uh, so uh, when you see the water rising up in your backyard, it's too late. You need to call um, your, your insurance agent at Marshfield Insurance here and have a discussion about flood insurance if you're concerned about that. Uh, another situation that we see very commonly is um, a backup of a sewer or drain. and. Uh, we most commonly think of this happening in a sump pump situation where the sump pump fails either due to mechanical failure or loss of power. Your sump pump well fills up then and you get water in your basement. A little bit of tipping around here. Let's see what we can do. Beautiful from the back row there. Rush out number 20, Kaylee Skiba, senior. She's had a good game so far. <laughs> Lily Lorbecki, the sophomore. Two Laura Becky girls on this team. One is a sophomore, one is a senior. I'm guessing sisters, I cannot confirm nor deny. Maybe they're cousins, I don't know. But to the outside for Rosholt. And that's gonna be out just by a little bit down the line. A couple of uh, similar last names here. I see a couple 
Let's see who else do we have here. For Rochelle, we have we have two Trinziki Trinzikis. Ooh, the big block. Beautiful, very well done with Pittsville. So we've got two Trins Trinskis, Anna, who's a senior, and Sarah, who's a freshman. Again, sisters, I'm guessing. Could be cousins, you never know. Nice hit there by the outside hitter on Rasholt. Let's see if we got some other family here. I like looking at stuff like this because I played with my si my sister. Yeah, we have a Riley Scarin. This is from the junior or the JV roster. We have a L, L Scarinbach and a Riley Scarinbach. Rashel with the ace there. I think that's all. I played sports with my sister. It was not always the best of times. We were quite competitive. And I was the younger sister, so I always wanted to be better than her. But, you know, it's fun now that I look back at it, now that I'm older. So you have that memory with her, of course. So, I don't know. Rush out there with the ace. Pittsville looking a little flat-footed here in these last couple of volleys. We'll see if they can break out of it right here. Pittsville senior Becca Downs with the back row kill there. And Pittsville breaks the serve there for Rochelle, which went on for a little bit, so it's good for them to get that break. Let's see what they do here uh, now that they are on the serving end. Nice couple of volleys there. It's good to see. Even if you don't get that point off of a volley like that, that's tough sometimes, but you got to take the good with that. And Pittsville had a, a nice couple of returns there. You got to take the positives out of that. Do what you can. senior Julia Redman with the kill on the outside position. Pittsville doing some substitutions here. The freshman Vanessa Pilot back to serve. The only freshman here on the varsity team, there's a sophomore, Haley Zwislin, who sees quite a bit of playing time, if I am correct. Yes, she's the big center in the middle. Ooh, 
Beautiful block in the middle for Pittsville. Rashford has uh, Morgan Pierce and then Kaylee Skiba, who are their center and their left hitter combo, and both of them have a lot of power behind them. We've seen them get set up with a couple of really good, really good sets and really do some damage. But in that case, uh, the block was too much, and Pittsville back at it. Haley Zwislin, I was just talking about her. Haley Zwislin, the sophomore, taking up a lot of space there in the center position. There's that lift call again. We haven't seen one in a little bit, but you can see the official kind of juggles his hands when he gives that call. That's just to show that there were two points of contact there, and it, it's, I don't know, it's, it's tricky. Sometimes the ball's coming at you so fast, and it's a tough call. He is liking it tonight, though, I will say that, more so than uh, I normally see. Kaylee Skiba, again, the senior, the 5'10 senior. She is dangerous on that outside hitter position for sure. Definitely going to be a lift called there. Senior Desiree Pilot with the kill on the outside corner. Ooh, the big block in the middle. And it's out. Nice play for Pittsville. It's always fun to see. See when the, the girls in, are having some fun there on the floor, it looks like those Pittsville girls really are, which is good to see. All in good fun. To the outside. Ooh. Getting that corner, that opposite side corner. Rochel, number 21. Cadence? Can Cadence. Barclaw? The freshman for Rochel. A couple of freshmen on Rochel's varsity roster here. Little miscommunication there by Pittsville. Just got to call it out a little louder. Sometimes it's tricky again. You just, everyone, you don't know who has a better view. You don't know who can hit it better. Same thing in baseball sometimes. You just don't, should the shortstop get it? Should the third baseman get it? You just don't know. You just got to make the best call. Sometimes it's tricky in the heat of the moment. Ooh. Just misses that back line for the Rashalt senior, Kaylee Skiba. Pittsville's Madison Schooley, she is tall. I wonder how tall she is. It doesn't say here, but she is tall up there in that middle position. Another big block in the middle for Madison Schooley, the junior, the Pittsfield junior. I, she's she's tall, man. I don't know how tall she is, but she's tall. <laughs> Doing a great job there in the middle, taking up space, getting her hands up in the air, getting some good blocks there for Pittsville. And the quick return.
Ooh. Just outside there for Pittsville. Pittsville thankful for that one. I think they tried to get it, but they missed it, and it ended up being out. You always love it when that happens, don't you? Sometimes we all need a little luck, especially in the day of corona, right? So uh, <laughs> sometimes we all need that. Pittsville here with the serve. Sarah Trinsky, Trzinski. I hope I'm saying, I, I'm sorry if I'm not doing well. It's all these Polish names, it's tough. I'm Polish too, so I know how hard it can be, all those C's and those Z's and those K's and those Y's, and it's hard. Big block in the middle for Madison Schooley. She's doing some damage there. Good for her. Again, another block, Madison Schooley. Pittsville gaining some momentum. They started out kind of slow here in this second second match, but they're really gaining some steam there. They've had a couple of nice plays. Madison Schooley, of course, there with a couple of really great blocks. Let's see if what they're gonna do with this momentum here. And we're back here, more volleyball coming at you. Ooh, beautiful little spot there. Sophie Lorbecki, the senior from Rochel, finding that little spot there and just dipping the ball there. Sometimes when people are expecting that hard hit, right, deep in the corner, you just come in with something a little softer and just get it to drop right in front of them. Still counts for a kill, still counts for one point. Not maybe as fun, but still counts the same amount. The hit would have been out, the spike would have been out, but it was tipped. So, Rochelt point on that one. Just getting a little piece of that ball. Anytime you touch it, that's 
It's considered a tip there off that. Ooh. The lefty with the opposite court kill. Nice strong hit there by number 14, Madeline Carpenter, the lefty. It's always nice when you have a lefty on your team because uh, they're a really great right side hitter and that's exactly the position she plays. It's just a good combination mix up. It's just the way your body turns and the way you have a tendency to turn when you're a righty, you have a tendency you know, to turn more of a certain direction when you're a lefty and there's less people who are lefties, you, you turn the other way and less people are expecting it. Just keeps the defense on their toes a little bit more. Number 25, Megan Pierce, the big center with the kill right down the middle. There's Kaylee Skiba again. It's going to be game rush ult on that one. Another, another good game. I think Pittsville just fell behind a little bit too early. Weren't able to quite the, dig themselves out of that hole. They just started out a little flat-footed there in that second game.
And we're back. Wow. Impressive. Pittsville got that one off there. Tough. Must have been right there on that line. Lift call there and Rashold. More substitutions for Pittsville. Oh, right over the edge of that net. Nice volley there, Rochelle with the kill. Good volleyball on both sides. Good to see you. This is, but you know, regardless of what happens, it's been a good, good, fun game to watch. That net, I tell you, trips you up. Just squeaks over the ball does. Good for an ace though for Rochelle. Number 23, Sophie Lorbecki, the senior.
Megan Pierce, the big middle hitter with the kill down the middle. Pittsville just struggling a little bit here to break this serve. Looking a little flat on their feet. Coach is going to take a timeout. Coach Buff Heller, he's going to take a timeout. Tell his girls just to calm down just a little bit. Hi, this is Jason from Northside Computers. As many of you know, we have a refurbished computer program to, uh, to get computers in the hands of students that are, that are learning from home this fall. Um, it's been a very successful event. We've gotten over close to 30 computers out to students. And we have also have a large waiting list, so we're hoping that we can get uh, more donations brought in to help these computers get in the hands of somebody who can use them. So we're looking for computers that um, can run Windows 10 or maybe um, could use a little bit of an upgrade to run Windows 10. We could definitely repair them if they have something wrong with them. Uh, we don't want old, um, ancient things that just need to be recycled. So, so the best thing to do is just give us a call first and we can try to figure out what you have um, and if we can make use of it. And we're back. Ross Schultz to serve it on over to the Panthers. Tough to defend that. Megan Pierce again. Oh, the tip. But she wishes she could have that one back. I think that was going out, but gotta love the aggressive play. 
see if Pittsville can regroup here and get some of those points back on the board. Oh. That's a killer serve right there. Beautiful. Well done. Haley's Wislin back with the serve for Pittsville right now. And another ace. Pittsville keeping the momentum going here. And Rochelle, head coach, wants a timeout. Hi, I am Todd Schultz from Fairway Mortgage in Marshfield. Growing up and now living in Marshfield, I have always supported the local sports teams. Fairway Mortgage is doing the same and more. Fairway Mortgage is also supporting the veterans of this country. We formed an affiliate company called the American Warrior Initiative, or AWI. AWI has given away houses, seed money, vehicles, and service dogs to deserving veterans. Fairway has found that service dogs trained specifically for a veteran's needs is the best gift that any veteran can receive. Fairway is a home loan specialist. Call us today to get your home loan. And squeaks right by that block there. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's tough. Close. It's tough sometimes when that ball gets headed the wrong direction. It's tough to get it turned around going the right one. In the net. Good block by Pittsville, but getting in that net's tough sometimes, and uh, that's going to result in the point for the other team every time. That one sailed just a little bit too far out for Rosholt. Good idea there from Rochelle. Just couldn't execute there. Oh no. 
Just a little, a little slippery, just a little tripping out there. Just lost her footing. Madison Schooley, the big middle hitter with the kill. Nice. Nice kill there, Pittsville. Number three, Julia Redman, the senior. Dropping it in there in that little shallow spot that no one's expecting. Same call there. That double hit, that lift. That'll do it. Rochelle takes it tonight, three games to none. A great, it was a great match, honestly. Uh, the score doesn't show it, but all three matches were great. And Pittsville was with them almost every time. So great job by both teams. Thanks so much for being here with us. We're on Focus Sports. I've been your host, Carrie Lippert-Gillespie.